Hey guys, here we go, another challenge, uh, mech it happened where only Terran mech is allowed, so no top bars if they are not uh, mech units, and Nova has no mech units, so uh, no top bars allowed, we have long range and darkness, uh, okay, so uh, Nova will have to be put somewhere where she will not do damage at least he doesn't have to spend money on uh, by the way we have two two playing as a uh, soldier of fortune he won't he will not uh, have to spend money on no upgrades okay so we have uh, SCVs clearing the rocks he first clears gas because he needs gas And getting what factory first, so that will be ground mech. Okay, see now star part also finishes. It's important to finish uh, factory first because uh, uh, prestige is uh, prestige is about which fa which uh, <coughs> which unit. Okay, Hellbats defeated the first Zergling wave, it's an uh, invasionary swarm. Uh, it's important which uh, structure finishes the first, not which starts the first. Now, Barracks actually takes the longest to build 65 seconds. Uh, uh, so you can even start Barracks first. Uh, factory uh, 60 seconds and Starport uh, 50, if I'm correct. Um, <coughs> 60, yeah, 65, 60, and 50, yeah, <coughs> okay, so, the SCVs did the job, <coughs> now, at proper expansion, <coughs> okay, we already have a Raven, and uh, again, the Lurkers, and some Siege tanks, now abilities, of course, are allowed, he does he have an armory? No, that's just now building. So not yet the range thing, but has spider mines. Okay, now he's going for the treasure. No time to clear to spawn camp, obviously. Just soloing like this, but uh, especially against the long range mutator, which will make spine crawlers for some more annoying to deal with. Okay, so let's see, he has uh, upgrades. So, uh, this is which is probably not done yet. Okay. Getting plus one, getting the upgrade. Raven upgrades. Okay, he also get Liberator upgrades, so we can expect some Liberators later. Okay, so we have Raven here. Okay, here we have. Uh, I should not know why he didn't choose the Terran Bio. Probably because of the first wave, but I think Helbots would be. Okay, against them. Oh, probably because of long range, because yeah, long range marines and siege tanks are not pleasant to deal with. Okay, I actually don't like this missile turret. I said no static D, but okay, if this doesn't kill anything, it would be okay. Just for detection. <coughs> so we can forgive him that. Because, yeah, now, uh, okay, Raven will be available kind of soonish. Okay, Hellbots have, uh, he didn't get uh, the jumpy thing, jump jet assault, because that can just jeopardize Hellbots, and like, they jump forward and they become exposed. Okay, so now we have uh, Liberators with both upgrades. This is good. Okay, Hydra is also more annoying than usual because we have 
all uh, with uh, long range, all units have plus three on top of their normal range and structure too. Okay, now we have the structure. <coughs> Will not be guarded. It's instead, it's an, uh, an additional wave over here, because it's a ground uh, hybrid. Usually, I like air hybrid more. Okay, these are just normal roaches that come here as uh, part of the guards. So far, Temple is still at full health. Okay, we also have Banshees, so everything, little bit of everything incorporated. All upgrades are done except this and uh, lockdown missiles because it only is against mech. So and this uh, this is kind of useless here. There is no mech. Hybrids are bio, enemies are bio, so no, not a single mechanical unit in this uh, composition or in base guards. Okay, now we have this Thrasher here, okay, siege up, nice. Well, we have four Liberators, that's pretty good, and we uh, have some Goliaths too. Okay, Ravens have all the upgrades. Uh, Actually, all, all is research again, except this. <laughs> okay, more engine base for tanking, actually. Structure armor, I mean, structure armor could be good for auto turrets, but it's not really so that impactful. And I think uh, also it affects the spider mines, so could have been researched, but... <coughs> Yeah, there was a hybrid here, but unfortunately it was killed. As yeah, sometimes this nemesis, this tuna fish hybrid, as they like to call them. They, uh, yeah, now this. Okay, <laughs> finally some vision here. Okay, okay, these are allowed, of course, because they are unit abilities. But Tobars, uh, no uh, defensive drones. That's why he's using. Uh, what he's using? Master is. Uh, El Nova Master is doesn't matter. The unit attack speed, which you normally don't. Uh, okay, this was unfortunate. But now they'll they'll come the the thrashers, which will be, well, he'll probably be unable to kill them, at least not in time. Because a lot of things he has to do. Enemy drop pods. Okay, there are some annoying queens here, but I can't do much. Okay, I would salvage this. Okay, they didn't kill anything yet. Ah, Queens didn't get in range because they also have superior range. Now we have Thrashers, but now the Temple didn't receive much damage. You can actually <coughs> just let the Thrashers thrash. They will not kill Temple in time. Okay, so now defenses are close to Temple. Here they have to be here because otherwise the base w bases would be destroyed. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Lurkers with a very big range now. We have, uh, <coughs> I believe, range 14 with these. Uh, is, is it 14 or 13? Okay, I have these hybrids. Okay, unfortunately, this one got behind Liberators, but okay, there are siege tanks here. Okay, now these Liberators should be unsieged, but these Lurkers are out of vision. Okay, I have the lads here to deal with that. Okay, now these Workers here. Okay, can, can read, get rid of... Oh, we're even dying, that's unfortunate, because you have less fewer of these, but you can get get another one. Yeah, but they've gotten for structure armor. That's that much money. No, that isn't expected. Isn't... Uh, is an expensive and for, to, to, for better tanking of these structures. But okay, it was pretty good, pretty uh, pretty good managed. Okay, so uh, Nova did deal a little bit of damage, I believe, but this is, she didn't kill anything. This missile turret also didn't kill anything. So it uh, doesn't even show here. 
So yeah, Griffin Earth's record, but it doesn't matter. None of this is viable. Not Nuke, not Griffin. Because Nova is not allowed. Nova was tucked in there, but she didn't do anything. Combat unit attack speed. You usually can uh, never use this monster. And unit life region, of course, to full. Okay, so let's... Uh, <coughs> Let's uh, parse the river. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna parse that replay into my overlay. And let's take a look. Okay, so Siege Tanks 1 lost. We didn't lose much. Uh, three Hellbats on this. I, I would expect actually that he would. Uh, get rid of Hellbats in favor of uh, ad, more uh, uh, siege tanks or other units, but okay, three Hellbats did survive, so he actually didn't lose, okay, he did lose that one Raven, but uh, yeah, didn't lose much, and it was kind of comfortable, no bonuses, of course, but isn't, uh, bonuses are not part of the challenge, so okay, expectedly siege tanks did have most uh, kills here, and that's it. Uh, yeah, okay, pretty good, pretty good. I think the devouring scourge would actually be easier to deal with, like... Queens, I think, don't uh, Brundling Nova's tanks, and we have Goliaths there, Liberators. But uh, no, no need for detection. Maybe he didn't want to do it against the easiest comp, I don't know. I think the devouring scourge would definitely be like... the. And just zerglings at start, so you got you just uh, get uh, hellbats normally as he did. Then you have a uh, mutas, so just you, you just uh, add uh, some uh, goliaths. I think it would would have been better, but okay. <coughs> uh, for libs, I don't know how many bench benches are not in top five, so I don't know. I think it was two benches. Okay, pretty good, pretty pretty good win. Thanks for watching guys uh, and um, check out my newest challenge because uh, I think on my short videos because I think that's pretty interesting. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys.